Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa and this is episode 4 and right now we are heading to the dining hall because Sayaka wanted us to meet up with her there. And it looks like she's already waiting for us here. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean so that's good. I guess it's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. Yeah, where is everyone? We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Hmm, okay, let's just wait here. Are you psychic? Huh? You heard like that! I said, I'm like psychic. I said, I'm psychic. Well, I mean, you know... <laughs> Come on, just kidding. Seriously, I have just amazing intuition. I guess so. Is it really just intuition, or are you just creepy? It's kind of Saturn, I know, but here comes another tutorial! I mean, they're not Saturn at this point, so whatever. Uh, but I guess we have to. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. Oh yeah, this stupid feature. You're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? No, I'm talking to that wall over there. Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection and the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Good to know. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Ah, have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Is it now? I mean... Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Yeah, okay. <sighs> this feature's kind of eh, but... Hey, yeah. um... By the way, Makoto... Huh? What is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing this whole introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> okay, let's start with this. Continuing our self introduction. Um... We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Saika wants to ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Um, blah blah blah. Okay, I'm not gonna like um, reread these lines because it just repeats while you are in reaction mode. So, yeah. Really? Oh, I accidentally clicked the button. I'm sorry, the wrong mouse button. I mean, I was supposed hey, to click um, the right one. Oh well, let's let's do that again. Um, sorry, this won't happen a lot. I swear. Okay, there we go. What did you want to ask me? Yeah. Are you free later? Let's go on a date. <laughs> Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually I was. <sighs> I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimate surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. <clears throat> we never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Yeah, how could you know nobody like me? Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me because you're so damn popular and I'm so damn ordinary and like... Why are you creeping on me, woman? <laughs> 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 we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Yeah, okay. Even though you have all these others... Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out, so why are you creeping on me, Sayaka? I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal is totally boring. What are you talking about? I'm totally in love with you. <laughs> You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Okay, if you're into creepy people. Just kidding, but like, she's kind of creepy. Her m smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen under that creepy interior. That's good. <laughs> anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about this. Because I love you, Makoto. You're amazing, Makoto! N no, really, I'm not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. 
Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. Tee hee. And I assist you. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. Okay. When she says things like that, it just gets me pumped up. Hell yeah! Which is nice, but still. Everyone else is late. Like, where the hell are they? Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. And there's a clock right there, doofus. There must be a clock around here somewhere. I'm totally blind. As Makoto, I can't see the clock behind Sayaka at all. It's totally not right there. Um, so what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock at night? Uh, um, uh -huh. you were unconscious for a pretty long time. I watched you sleep. <laughs> I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Let's hope so. Also, like, almost like he timed it, Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Yeah. I mean, that's Taka for you. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. <laughs> I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it! Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What the? What about uh? What's her name? You know the silver-haired girl. <gasps> uh, yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. I totally do not remember her name. No. What about her? She's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! <clears throat> stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, you all know the drill. Just kill each other and make a huge bloodbath. Okay! It doesn't matter how you do it. You have to kill someone if you want to leave. It's simple as that. Now go, go attack each other and murder each other. Okay, bye. Boop, 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 boop. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko! You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality Come trait. On. You're being a real jerk right now, you know that? <clears throat> well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. <clears throat> now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um, Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> you know, what's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? Uh, okay, sure, yeah, I guess. I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so, so much as my assistant. Yeah, so who should we talk to first then? Uh, can I click anyone? I, I don't know. Um, maybe we'll start from the far left. Uh, I can't, I can't click Byakuya. What's happening? Um, uh, I totally played Spory Sword. Okay, let's talk to Fumi. I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. Well, I wasn't trying to leave. I'm trying to talk to people. Oh, wait. That's right. We have to talk to her um, first then. Again. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, yes, but... Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. <laughs> I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. <clears throat> really? That's it? <clears throat> if I did uncover anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I did but I didn't, so I don't. <sighs> right, understood. So even though she didn't um, want to talk more, we still gotta talk to her. 
Like, oh, I should shut up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, so, talking next. I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and... Listen to me! There I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Oh. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. Unplaced. No, it's Mo Monokuma's room. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally um. soundproof. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Mm -hmm. Well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. Interesting. That's weird. I should double check hey, that later. Come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. <sighs> which totally Quiet sucks. down and listen! Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals! Unlike, um, Hiro and Mondo, who <sighs> totally look like animals. But that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Yep, that's all I have to report. Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to what whoever's next. Cause yeah. Okay, we we'll go back to her again. Uh, despite not wanting to talk, she's talking a lot, isn't she? Looks like Leon Hero, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up, grouped up together. We all went up and down the school, double-checked the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little what bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 it bad, It really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. Oh, I hate this. What the hell are we gonna do? Oh. Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Like, who wouldn't be nervous, though, seriously, in this situation? Um... Blah, 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 blah. This again. Yes, I'm not reading this over again. I already did the first time, remember? Okay, then. The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Plus, Tokyo and Ifumi were left over, so they joined us. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with what? Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. Duh, shit. It was hard as, like, <laughs> metal. Because it's totally metal. You got that? Good. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal, like your brain. Uh, this sucks. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then... I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we shouldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Okay, one last group um, of people to get through, so... You see! Yay, we're probably almost done with this. Okay. Blah blah blah, Hina Sakura's last token is when we were left over, they joined up and did what now? Let's see. If I am being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the type to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? God Celeste. <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's all your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you could have just said something. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Like I'd want to go anywhere with someone like you. <laughs> what was that? Your mind is as thin as your body. 
You make me sick to my stomach. Is it for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? <laughs> and I totally know. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. Uh, Sayaka, that's not really how sisters fight, but whatever. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Yeah, sisters don't really fight like that, hey, but um, okay. So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Oh, great. You want to talk more? Okay. Um, I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Uh, sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. <laughs> oh, Lord. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, at least, that's what Monokuma said. Uh, huh? You saw okay. him? Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. Well, then, that's... how does he move around? A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But was everything okay? He didn't, like, try to eat you or anything, right? Why would... How, how could <laughs> that small bear eat a person? Eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Yeah, Hifumi's brain lives in the gutter, so he's gonna be like this throughout the game. Hey, Come on, master. man! What the hell? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually... Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Like <laughs> you, hero? Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you all still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. <laughs> Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We've got to do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Hmm? Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yeah. Kyoko! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you! She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. <laughs> Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. Well, I mean, that's good. A map? W what the? Where did you find this? And how come I didn't wow. find it first? It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking us out right oh, now. More important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um, but then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. <laughs> So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn. Like, oh, Jesus but... Christ. But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? <sighs> hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. No. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every day, every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth and my butt. <coughs> yeah. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> totally. <laughs> What's your You're problem? Delicious. Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all, even though I did absolutely nothing. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. Didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. Mm -hmm. You didn't have 
to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. N no way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to d do? I can't. <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it. Don't even joke about that. Um... Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. It seems like... There's got to be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? I mean, do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Yep. 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. and some areas are off limits. And you cannot sleep anywhere but the dorms. No sleeping in class or you'll be punished. Let's see... So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Uh -huh. But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start we will all start to get worried and anxious. Uh -huh. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> If we have to worry about the, that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree with that. It's like the little goth Alita said. Without something like that, we're just kind of self-destruct. And I Listen to me! That. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement? <laughs> Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where where are you going? Let's see. It is almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, a uh, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even, even trying to stop her. So, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. <laughs> Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Hmm. Uh. Well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? Poor hero. We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Uh, this sucks. So we have to just give up. Okay, whatever. I'll <sighs> give up. That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So the end. Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today. <laughs> good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed out off to their private rooms. Um, Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so now that's all done and over with. Dots. <laughs> Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? But his door won't open. All right, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Ugh, darn. <laughs> Wrong. Not locked. Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? Makoto Nagi, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad, it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack, Groar! Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is because it isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, Didn't you um... see that notice? What, can't you read? My god, I'm not gonna spell it out for you. The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have 
Oswald. I mean, it wasn't a boy's bathroom. It's kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. I mean, look at me, I'm a bear. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift while you up while you pull. Yes, Go ahead, baby. give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. Hooray! Woo <laughs> See? It opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all! Yeah, thanks, Monokuma. Bye-bye! Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being anymore. Bye! I'm gonna go eat some crap. Hey, wait! Damn it. Oh, okay. Now it's just a night time. Yay. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. Yeah, I know that feeling. It was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Because, like, who would? Seriously, I don't even know. So this is how the curtain closed on, on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Yeah, but then this be a short, short game, and, you know. Oh, yay, Monica Theater. In any normal school, Mr. Monica will be kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony to earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that all your old students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all into a new tomorrow! Oh good, it's morning and we're still here. Of course, that's a given though. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Apparently, it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. She assists me, apparently. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Oh, look, it's Taka. Good morning, Taka. What you doing? Good morning, Makoto. G good morning. Yes, morning <laughs> greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day, don't you agree? You now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure? I wonder if he's always like this. Makoto, spoiler alert, he's always like this. Okay, so we're supposed to go to... Oh, look, there's a doorbell, I think. Okay, I have to click the door, whatever. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. No crap, Makoto. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Oh, Hello. Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen, listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Uh, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure, where are you headed? Uh, oh, um, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever is keeping us here could show up and attack any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. 
whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put this, us in the same position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Wow, reading my mind again. Good like lord. Like I said, I'm like psychic. I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Yeah, we'll call it that for now. But whatever. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. But I actually kind of do like walking around, so that makes me one of the others, but whatever. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Yeah, we're not going to glitch the game or whatever, so... Well then, good luck and have fun. That'd be interesting though. Hey, let's try this glitch! Oh no, I lost my game. Okay, so she wants to head to the gym. Bye, talk. I'll see you later. Okay, uh, yeah. So I'm just, I'm gonna walk there because, you know, like I said, I like to walk around the school when it's like this small one, you know, it's just the first floor and there's no point really to teleport because it's not that far away. So, oh look, it's Toko and the other two over there. Toko go together with those other two? Quite a combination. Ooh, what do you problem? want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with two people who have muscles with their brains should be is not by choice. Just wow, scene. that was super mean. Hmm. Yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. I never asked you to do that. Mm, she kind of did. Stop trying to drag me farther into your meat dimension. Mm. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well, oh, yeah, good point. They're like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. Yeah, Toko getting along with someone is quite the unique thing. But, you know. Oh well, people are like that. Some people are anyway. Okay, to the gym. En enough to chat for now. So there's stuff in the display case. Oh look, I see a sword and other things. It's a pretty. Oh. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But jeez, I barely touched it, and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might help. Liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. <sighs> I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen... When the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> so cheesy, my goodness. Oh, Makoto, I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> if, you, if I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka so gigg giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. That's... Got a hidden, creepy meaning to it. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. I mean, I didn't really mean it's got a hidden, creepy meaning, but like... You know, with her whole psychic intuition and stuff, it's um, just... Um... I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. 
Yeah, because like if you're hanging with a friend, you don't always have to like have conversations or talk. You can just enjoy each other's company, you know? Sometimes I do that with friends. We just, you know, enjoy our company and just, you know, watch stuff together or play games together and stuff. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. But like, if you're with the right people, then like just standing around doing nothing is, you know, perfectly fine too, so... No, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, hey, um, listen. this is kinda out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? <laughs> well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. Um, I... my dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melt away. I decided that that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see. I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? It's not fun at all? Oh, oh no. no, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But, but that's exactly what scares me. Huh? I enjoy uh, every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's, but that's why... the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing you it. See? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? <gasps> well, um... they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Sayaka? What? I can't afford to be stuck Why? in here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds... desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, I kind of um, killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. <laughs> you mean the condiment? God, Sayaka, I hope you're kidding. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? 
It was almost like a mask, some kind of neutral expression. Well, that's that. Poor Sayaka. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. Oh, yay, back in this crappy room. Whatever. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. Better not touch it. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, for you guys, I'll play all the tutorials that I already know. So, because like I said, you know, for new people who are new to Danganronpa, I'll, you know, do this for you guys. As you live out your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can give these presents from the Mono Mono Machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Yeah, don't be like skipping these times, yo. Also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time passes. When you're finished, you'll automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you'd prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep and skip it, but I don't recommend this option. So yeah, go deep in those friendships, people. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Yeah, but no, like I said. Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Okay, so we're going to end this here for now. And yeah, I will see you guys in the, in the next episode. I apologize, this one took so long for me to edit. But, yeah, so I guess I will see you guys, you know, next, and I have my Final Fantasy grinding story video uploaded, so if you want to, go check that out. I might do more of those, or I might just, you know, do some Final Fantasy playthroughs as well. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!